so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Do you want to draw a spider with me? Yeah! I like spiders. They are so cool how they can spin webs. Wow, isn't that unique? I know! <laughs> All right, to draw a spider, I'm going to grab this black marker and draw a circle. All right, just like that. And then, since they have eight legs, let's draw eight curved lines like that. There we go. And then four on this side to make the eight. Four plus four is eight. And then let's draw a circle right here for an eye, circle right there for an eye, and then a smiley face. But this isn't just a normal spider. This is a black widow. Let's draw the hourglass over there. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, black widows have this red hourglass on the body. Yeah, you don't want to get close to those. <laughs> pretty cool. Well, I love drawing. And if you want to keep drawing with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Huh? This spider web looks amazing! You're right, Debo. Spider webs do have such artistic designs. I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes, let's go find a spider to ask. I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Bonjour, I'm Spencer. You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am. It's going to be my greatest masterpiece. The webbiest web of all time. <gasps> want to help? Yeah. I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create. Debo, I'll be right back. Blippi, you can be my holder and tester! My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself, and they shoot out of my stomach! To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece. Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Flippy, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it, bounce against it, see if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. It's me, Flippy. Today, you and I are gonna draw an animal. And this animal looks like a horse, a bit smaller, and it's only black and white. Yeah, a zebra. <laughs> Since the paper is white, let's take a black marker, draw an oval for the head, an oval for the body. Ooh, and let's draw a rectangle right there for the neck. Well, kind of looks like a square, 
but let's draw four rectangles on the bottom for the legs. Whoa, there we go. All right, now let's draw some flowy lines for the tail. Whoa, now it's starting to look like a zebra, right? Yeah, we need an oval for the ear though, a circle for the eye, ooh, a curved line for the snout. Ooh, there we go, and a smiley face. And then what do zebras have? Yeah, stripes. So let's do some stripes just like that. Perfect, some on the neck right there. And then we can't forget about the mane. Whoa, let's color in the mane black. There we go. Oh, what a pretty zebra. Well, if you love drawing with me and want to draw some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. It's me, Blippi. Today, we're visiting animals. Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're going to see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow, oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska, or the Pacific Northwest, or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right. Let me throw some to give it a nice path. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right. I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah. Put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right.
sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, there's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. is Dave, and Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too! Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. 
Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! This is a jungle nymph. Wow! What color is she? Yeah. Yeah. She is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah. Do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet. And look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> What are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males. Yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> Wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> Well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. me, Blippi. Are you ready to have some fun and draw something together? Yeah! Today, why don't you and I draw an insect? Will you guess which insect? First, it starts out as a caterpillar, and then it undergoes metamorphosis and transforms into this insect. It has beautiful, colorful wings. Yeah! It's a butterfly! Wow! I love butterflies. Oh, why don't we start with the color black and draw its head? Okay, a small circle right up there. Oh, and let's make a smiley face. There we go, a nice happy butterfly. And then let's draw its body way down here. Whoa! Yeah! Very tall. <laughs> Wow, all right, now let's draw its wings. Whoa, one big wing right up there. Whoa, and the same thing on this other side. Whoa, and then let's add some color. Whoa, how about this bottom wing it can be red. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa, what a beautiful butterfly. 
butterflies so far, right? Wow, and do you see how I'm making everything the same on both sides? That's called symmetrical. Yeah, so if I make a circle right here, I will make a circle on this side. If I make a line like that, I'll then make a line like this. Whoa, and we can keep adding some color. How about some purple? Whoa, oh, butterflies are so beautiful. There we go. They just flop around. And if you've ever seen a butterfly just hanging out, yeah, maybe soaking up some sun. Yeah, they're actually trying to warm up their body. They need the heat to fly. Oh, how about some green? Oh, there we go. Wow, what a cool looking butterfly. There we go. And then let's add some blue. Are you ready? Let's do a small circle right there, small right there. Oh, and some curved lines at the bottom. Wow, what about the top? Do you know what they have on top of their heads? Yeah, antennas. All right, let's go like this. Curved line with a small little circle. Curved line with a small little circle. Wow, butterflies are awesome. And you are awesome. That was so much fun learning to draw with you. If you want to draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippy. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome. Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah, I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. <laughs> There's one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this one. 
So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is gonna feel like. Whoa, it looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? <laughs> yeah, it's so tasty. <laughs> Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. <laughs> then you go this way, flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> And then go this way, flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh. And an axolotl, check this out. Whoa, see that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Whoa, <laughs> check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know but this is a turtle wow hey how are you turtle are you having a good day are you having fun yeah <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun <laughs> see you later Whoa. it's kind of dark in here but that's okay this is a green iguana can you see it Whoa, it's just relaxing, having a good time. <laughs> All right, see you, Iguana. Check that out! 
That right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> hey! See, it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool. Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Whoa. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. See, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only. It doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. <laughs> Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa! This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa! I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right, come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few tech things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Oh, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm going to do the same, but it's going to grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Ooh, 
This is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, watch. I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it! Whoa! Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. <laughs> it's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Whee. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, look in there. Let's go. Ooh. Welcome. Come on in. Hey, look. It's a little tree house. Here I go! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights! Here we go! Whee! Whoa! This is so much fun. Oh, the noise room. Come on. Whoa. This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm going to do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Tumbo! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! 
Okay, let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Here's some more blue bricks. <gasps> Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. You like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah, check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa! It just went up by one. See? It's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at. Because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah, this is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon, and we call it Moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. <gasps> Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa. It is really big. <gasps> Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity and they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, look, I just made all those things light up. Whoa, this is fun. Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> just kidding, it was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> I call it 
call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to, to lift up this weight compared to pull down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. Now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Oh, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello, this is interesting. See, I'm upside down, but in real life, I'm right side up. Hello, hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there. Ready? Oh! Yeah! That was awesome! Ah, oh, yum! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you <laughs> takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Awesome. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout